If you enjoy trippy visual effects, you found the right video today. In the past, I've tried a bunch of plugins and presets, but nothing was as intense as this little gem here. A plugin by Gen Arts called Sapphire. I think it could give you a lot of ideas for your future projects, and I spent more than five hours just to go through all the presets and cool tools. I would recommend you try it because it's just very inspiring, and every effect has a bunch of different variables. There's just so many possibilities. That's some stuff that normally in After Effects I would not be able to create myself. So it's just like a little bit of help from our friends at Gen Arts. It just really fits my style, I think. And it's really too bad that it's not my full-time job and I can't really afford this. In the meantime, we can still all try it for 30 days for free, which is really cool. We're gonna go through all my favorites today and I'm going to show you how it works and what you can do with it. So here I am in Premiere Pro CC. I have uh, all the effects that install also in Premiere and in After Effects. So if I go in Video Effect, you see there's a whole section of Sapphire now. It's the same ones that we find in After Effects, but I find that in After Effects, for me, it bugged a little bit less because my computer is not like crazy insane. It's good, but it's not the best I could have. So I find that in Premiere it was a little bit more laggy, but in After Effects it's perfect. So I'm going to show you in After Effects today. So I simply right click on my clip I want to place in After Effects and I link it. Replace with After Effects Composition. So now we're in After Effects. You could also have simply open a clip by File, Import and go find it in your computer. I have my original clip, which is a composition I made. It's simply a guy wearing a green suit and I removed I keep the green out and I place the galaxy inside it. So in the FX section, most of the FX here, you can find also in the uh, Sapphire Builder, in the S effect. You could either choose to use these or go in the Sapphire effect and just drag it on top of your clip. Then you have to load the preset, so you click there. There's always this dialog box that pops up. They could have just skipped this part, I don't know if it's temporary. <laughs> when you load the effect, then you have this new window that opens and it's separated in different type of effects. So you have already a bunch of different effects to choose from. You have a good idea with the thumbnail of what it's going to be like. But sometimes you get some funky surprises. So. Like vortex is just a bunch of different color vortexes that you can make. And this one kind of looks like the Looney Tune uh, animation intro. And most of the time it's your footage that is transformed into another shape or other colors. But sometimes it's just like cloud or generated type of effect that has no link with your clip at all. So if we go in the Sapphire Aurora, I click on it and then they offer a bunch of different... It looks like overlays. It really feels like it's tracking the subject so it looks really real. And you look like you spent a lot of time on your effects when in fact it just takes one minute. And if you want to change any of the setting, you can go here and in your effect control, everything is customizable, like the colors and everything you can keyframe. That's really useful because every time you use something, you can completely change the vibe you did last time. So it's always new. So if you want to change it and you don't like it, you can just load the presets again. And then I wish it would bring you back where you were, but it just always brings you to this main window thing. So you, you would have to go back. Then the auto paint, these are like paintbrushes and it's pretty realistic, like you can feel the Van Gogh vibe here. It's just missing maybe a bit of textures, it's not quite like the creation effect template I reviewed before. But still, it's really fun. And again, everything is customizable. It took me so much time at the beginning to just try them all. Oh, look it, that's nice. It's really hard to choose one. That's the artist part, you have to make a choice. It's cool because it's kind of like different looks too, so you could just do a grunge effect with it. I like the colors. War drama. Obviously for what I have right now, I would go for something that is more like spacey. It's pretty holographic, I like it. That is so pretty. And it's very fast to export to. I could see some very sweet fashion videos being done with it. Bokeh light. It's just a bunch of bokeh overlays that are on top of your clip. <laughs> Obviously, in this case, it doesn't really fit my clip, but if you're doing like a, something like a beauty video or showing the city, it could be nice. It's caustic. So it's uh, some overlays that are pretty trippy on top of your clip. 
Clouds is just a bunch of different cloud texture that you can use as overlays after. There's also like speed trails. I like to use it when I do like yeah, sci-fi type of clips. Asian horror. And there's like some disco ones. This one is sick too. It looks like a bacterial infection. Defocus Prism, that's very sweet. I know I'm totally in love with this one. So we're still only in the Sapphire Builder S effect. I didn't touch so far all the other categories. I don't know if you see, but we're only there on this thing. So you have hours and hours of pleasure in front of you. The next one I really like the most are the digital damage, bunch of glitches. These things are so crazy. This is so much fun. Like this one, Jelly Beans of Discord. There's also oil spill that is just insane. In terms of like the artistic aspect of it, I find that it's just so impressive and interesting. Film damage is really like giving like this old, very destroyed film thing. It's, it's very realistic too. Also what is nice with the fact that you can customize it all the time is that you can also save your presets once you make it the modification and then you can export your presets so you can keep them. And another way to edit it is to do it uh, with the nods. Uh, if you're familiar with Nuke, maybe that would ring a bell to you. And also when you are surfing your presets, you can also just write where you were. So let's say uh, distortion. You just start to write the word and then you can go back to the category you were at. So usually if you work on it, I guess you know what you intend to do. So you can just write the type of effect you're looking for and then you can find it easy. But yeah, there's like fly type of vision cut in different pieces. I feel a flush. <laughs> okay, thumbs up for the guy who writes the title. Afton effect, there's grid, invert, bunch of colors, so many kaleidoscopic effects, light leaks. Okay, my <laughs> big favorite, and it's so pretty. The list goes on and on. There's a bunch of very cool effects. I will not have the chance to cover them all in this video, but there's a long list of transitions too that you can find in both After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can experiment them all when you will try it. Also, if you wish to get more free effects, I recommend you check this page by Rampant Design Tools. They are giving away more than 40 4K overlay clips to create nice effects on your edits. It's a mix of their coolest items, so it's really worth trying and it's free. Let me know in the comment section if you ever used Sapphire and if you did, please share it with me. I would love to see it. I really, really like it. My name is Eva Landry. Like, share and subscribe if you like my trial video of Sapphire. Have a nice day. Bye bye.